This program is brought to you by Guiding Light Assembly. Unless the Lord builds the city, the labor in vain will do. It is your hand, your everlasting arms, that is holding up this country. You are holding us, and you are using us to speak of your mercies and of your goodness and your grace. The assignment you have begun, it surely stands, and we own it this morning with our faith. In the name of Yeshua, the Messiah. I want you to please put on the screen Isaiah 44, from verse 25. Isaiah 44, verse 25. This God that we serve he is the one He frustrates the signs of who? Babblers. And drives diviners mad. There's a particular prophet in this country. Everything he says is a Yoruba man. He's negative and is evil. He's always saying there will be calamity. This one will die. This one will not live. This one. Everything that the man has said has not stood. He makes their knowledge foolishness. The next verse, please. Who confirms the words of his servant and performs the counsels of his messengers? Who says to Nigeria, you shall be inhabited? We are not running anywhere. We are standing in him. For in him we live, in him we move, and in him we have our being. He says to the cities of Nigeria, you shall be rebuilt. And I will raise up your waste places, here, the Spirit of the Lord. Continue, please. Who says to the deep, be dry. I will dry up your rivers. Continue. And who says of who? Who says of who? The person that has not known God. Cyrus, he doesn't know God. He's an hedonistic person. Somebody that is not supposed to do the things of God. He says of him, he is what? He's my shepherd. And he shall perform all my pleasure. Saying to Nigeria, you shall be built. And to the temple, your foundation shall be laid. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're going to use this last verse. We're going to pray for our president. Maybe he's the type of Cyrus. Yet does not know Jesus the way you know Jesus. Maybe he's a shepherd. He shall perform all my pleasures, say the Lord. He shall work so hard to rebuild this nation. And to the temple, the foundation shall be laid. That is, it would also be used to advance the work of God. It may look impossible, but with God, nothing shall be impossible. And the Bible says in Proverbs 21 verse 1, can you please put that one on the screen again? Proverbs 21 verse 1 says, The hearts of kings are in the hands of Jehovah God. And he turns them around like water courses. Anyhow, let's lift up our voices and pray for our president. Nigeria cannot afford to waste the time of God again. God has set his hand on the mission. We cannot look back. President Tinumbu, lift you up unto the Lord. No man takes a throne unless the Lord has willed it. For all power belongs to him and he gives it to them that he has chosen. Maybe in a time like this, he has chosen to give you and we can now commit you unto him. The one who holds the heavens and the earth. The one who alone is able to turn your heart in the way that you should go. We ask that in the sight of our God and in the hands of our God. Let all your resistances be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that will not make you hear his voice, we uproot them. By the authority that is in the name of Jesus. We stand as priests in the temple of God this morning and we offer the blood of Jesus for you. We ask that that blood that has brought us mercy and grace will bring you mercy and grace in the name of Jesus. We say to you, from this day forth, as the Spirit of the Lord shall will, you become a vessel in the hand of Jehovah God. I want to give you, you know, I want to say something. When he was given his acceptance speech, he said that subsidy is gone. 
But later on, I think about a month or then, about, about two weeks ago, he said it was not in his script. He said, but what, what gripped him? He called it boldness. That was what? Who knows the, what that was? That was the spirit of the Lord. Because he's the spirit of power. He's the spirit of boldness. This, and then he said what kings have been unable to say. God's hand is able to turn the hearts of kings everywhere. Pray for this man, please. Pray for him. Mention his name to God. Nigeria cannot afford to waste the time of God. We must move on. And I want to remind you, God is not a politician. He has no party. And he is not a respecter of any man. He chooses his own vessels according to his will and his wisdom. The God who made a Pharaoh to give a platform to Joseph. The same God who made Darius to give a platform to Belshazzar and this. The God will make this man to give platforms for the light and the salt of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and round up the prayer and let's pray for it. But that's what we are believing you for. That this thing you are doing... It's a miracle and it's marvelous in our sight. It's about no man, it's about you. We don't see him, we choose to see you. That you will walk in him, you will will in him, and you will do through him of your own good pleasure. And that nation that does righteousness, that is your pleasure, that has an assignment, according to prophecy, to be used in this end time to do your will, that nation shall arise. And we will say that you are good. And you are true. And all the miracles you are doing, they will bring us joy. Thank you, ever living Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now you want to own your faith with a rejoicing, with a clapping. It's the right time to do it. <laughs>